Okay, welcome back to the channel, Custom Garage Build Series. Today we've gone ahead and painted this wall, a uh, different shade of gray, kind of contrast this wall a little bit. We're gonna be mounting a couple more panels of the Omni wall over here to accommodate our metallics that we put over there temporarily. Um, we're gonna be putting up two pieces today. I um, went with black on this, on this wall, as you can see right here. Um, I think that's gonna be a nice, well, to be honest with you, they didn't offer it in stainless, so I thought the next best thing would be black against the gray. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna lay this out, it's 32 by 32. So we're gonna, we got a couple marks up there where the studs are. And we're gonna go ahead and get started here, bumping these two brackets up here. Or two rails, I should say. All we're doing here is just leveling this. I'm just going to make a level mark so I'll be able to mount this. I'll just go right there. And I'll make a mark on the bottom here. So we know where it goes. Okay. So we can put this down. Now this two sections that I ordered of the Omni wall actually just comes with shelves. That's the reason I bought this. Because I didn't need anything with brackets or other accommodations. I needed just basically something that I could put as many shelves on as possible to line up the materials on. So I think we got some studs here, so we're gonna find out. Real quick here, what we have. Hit them, great. Not, we'll put some wall anchors in. I'm going to leave it spaced away from the molding just a little bit. simple setup. I kind of like this simplicity of it. Hey, okay, there it is. Let's see what our shelves look like. They sent us three different widths. I, didn't, I couldn't tell from the pictures what um, width we were going to get. What's interesting about these shelves is you can put them in like this, or you can put them in as an actual, just a, a shelf. I'm going to do them this way so they hold the, uh, they hold my containers a little better. Um, I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. So the stuff doesn't fall off the shelf. Got a little ledge there to keep it, keep it intact. I'm gonna switch up one of my other shelves from over here. Just got another one just like that one. We're gonna rob this narrower one from the original setup. That way we have them the same size. I think that's gonna be a pretty good width. Let me grab some metallics here. Now, that's not going to work, <laughs> and here's why. I can't see what color they are, so I'm going to have to use them like a shelf, which gives me a little more room because I can start a fire. Well, actually, I don't want to do that either because Remember, we've got a wide shelf that goes on the top. I was totally wrong.
place in this one. Some, um, some nice pieces of three quarter inch um, maple pl uh, plywood and make some drop inserts so that lifts these up enough to work. I got this space right here. I'm sure you can see from up there, right here. So. This is a unit that just holds the, the little cubbies to put your screws and stuff in. So, checking right, right here so I can kind of see what's in them. cabinets and the bench. The cabinet I really wanted to order was uh, is back order, obviously. But then I did find one that's 10 inches wider that would work over there, except for it, it should work. Hopefully the metal is, um, I had enough room on the metal panels to squeeze it in there. And then I got thinking, well, if I put all this equipment in here and I go and do, got to do the floor, I'm gonna have to move it all out. Where am I going to put it? Um, so I'm going to hold off. I'm going to get the floor done first and then come back and get the cabinets and put them in. That way I don't have to move them again. So stay tuned for that as well. We've got some really cool cabinets coming. 84 inch toolbox and like I said, either a 36 or a 46 inch cabinet on wheels that'll go at the end uh, to take up that space. And then an 84 inch toolbox with a stainless steel top I think it's going to be awesome. It'll fit right in there. Um, if I need to take it out of there, which I don't think I will, um, it's on wheels. I can move it clean underneath it. So stay tuned for all that, folks. Thanks for watching again, and uh, have a great day.